Hey everybody, today we're talking about mold exposure, signs of mold growth and health risks of indoor mold. And this is a really, really big topic because mold toxicity and basically just being exposed to high amounts of mold, particularly in 24% of the population. So one person could be exposed to mold and their body may be able to uh, deal with it, detoxify it. It's not healthy for them, but they may be able to adapt to it and detoxify again it's it's not healthy but um but it may not cause outward symptoms a whole lot of outward symptoms however there's about 24 percent of the population that doesn't have a specific enzyme needed to detoxify these typical household molds on top of that if you are you may have the enzyme but if you're already immune compromised maybe you have heavy metal toxicity or a bad diet high stress poor sleep things like that that can also, the, the, the increase, the mold exposure can overwhelm your system. And the most common symptoms are issues with respiratory function, frequent asthma attacks, brain issues like depression, irritability, anxiety, um, increasing overall brain inflammation, brain fog, sleep problems is a really common one, excessive coughing, headaches, fatigue, joint pain, chronic pain. <clears throat> These are all kinds of symptoms that are associated with that. Now, what does mold need? Mold needs moisture. And I, I can speak from, from experience because our, our new home here, we recently had a water leak and uh, we had to do a lot of work in order to make sure that the moisture didn't build mold. So we caught it early um, <clears throat> and had to do a lot of work, get a dehumidifier in there and all kinds of stuff and had to have a company come out and do the remediation. Um, but mold spores are invisible. You don't typically see the spores they're being released. Okay. Oftentimes you'll see mold built up on a wall or something like that, but you may not see the spores. So it's really important that if there's any sort of water leak, you get to it right away and suck it out, right? Basically dry it up. So that way the mold can't form, the mold spores can't be released because those mold spores can also create mold build up in other areas of your, of, of your house. They need a steady stream of oxygen. They need a low sunlight. Sunlight UV is actually antifungal, right? So it's, it helps to kill off mold. So they like a dark area, cool, wet, dark area is kind of uh, what they like. All right. And well, really, you know, heat, heat's fine as well. But typically it's going to be these kind of darker areas where there's a little bit less heat buildup. Okay. And that's, that's going to be key for them. Okay. So what are some signs that you may have you may notice a smelly musty, musty odor that should be a huge warning sign because you may not always smell it however if you do smell it most likely there mold color appearance maybe like a bluish greenish type appearance on the wall but again you may not you may not be able to see it so you can't just base it just off of what you see moisture issues like if you've had water damage uh, somewhere in your home, or if there's water coming in from rainwater or wherever, like it could be in your, your bathroom, um, water may be getting onto the wall from the shower. So that's an area that needs to be addressed. Uh, if you have allergy symptoms. So again, we talked about asthma. If you have allergies, constantly running nose, um, waking up in the morning and you're super congested, these are all classic signs of mold issues. Okay, mold produces gases called microbial volatile organic compounds. Again, these gases oftentimes are odorless. Sometimes you'll smell them, but many of them are odorless. And uh, if you notice that, obviously the musty odor, again, you know, definitely should be a warning sign to get your house checked. So tips to controlled mold growth in your home. And, you know, this couldn't, this, this, this presentation is so critically important for people to, to understand because you do not want mold in your home. It's not only very costly to get it remediated, but most people don't catch it until they've been suffering for years and it's worn down and beaten down their health. And so very, very important to control humidity in your home. So you can use dehumidifiers. We have several here. Um, proper ventilation is very important. Again, quickly addressing any water, wet areas, water damage should always be checking around your home to see if there's anything like that. And then very important to use an air purifier that also utilizes UV, which can basically, uh, destroy the, the, the mold spores. And so, uh, the benefits of having an air purifier I recommend everybody have at least one good air purifier in your home, depending on the size of your home, you may need more. 
Okay, but it's super important for removing dust and allergens, which a lot of people have a lot of these issues. You'd be surprised how much dust ends up, you know, on your on your floor, on your your carpet, things like that. And of course, you can vacuum and that helps, but not like an air purifier. So it's really, really important to have clean air that we're breathing and very, very important for getting rid of and eliminating, reducing our exposure to mold. So it just takes so much pressure off our liver, kidneys, and our other detoxification systems and allows them to work well. If we're constantly having to try, have our body try to detoxify the mold, we are going to weigh our system down. We're going to have too much of a toxic load and we're not going to be able to adapt. And over time, we're going to build chronic, chronic illness. So very, very important. The one that I use, I've actually got three of these in my home, the EnviroCleanse mobile UV system. We've got one in every floor of our house. And uh, this works great. This thing works great. It's got a nice little hum to it, which acts as kind of like some um, some white noise, right? To keep our for our kids when they're sleeping. Um, it works great as far as that goes. And it just works really, really well for pulling this stuff out. It's got the HEPA filtration with the ultravi ultraviolet germicidal radiation. Okay. So that radiation helps again, get rid of the mold spores. And this is, this is the best filtration air filter that I've seen on the market. And so it works really, really good. Highly recommend it. Um, you can check it out in the article and the, the link below, uh, if you're interested in getting this. And you can also test to see the level of mycotoxins, mold toxins in your body. We have a lab test. Uh, there's an article that's associated with this video and I go over it in that article. And you can also take a systemic binder as well, a biotoxin binder, which uses um, basically these, um, or these, um, these carbons, right? So humic and fulvic acid, which are fantastic for going through the body, helping grab up mold toxins in the body. They're also really good for grabbing up endotoxins that are released from yeast, candida, parasites, different bacteria. So it's the biotoxin binder. These humic and fulvic acids, these things are a hundred times smaller than our cells. And so they can get in and through the gut and through the cells, help pull, and they have an affinity. They have a certain electromagnetic gradient and they're able to basically help pull mold spores, mold toxins, and help eliminate them from the body. And they can also help drive some nutrients into the cells as well. They're very, very unique. So bioactive carbons are what they are. So I would highly recommend checking that out. This is something that, um, you know, anybody that's dealt with mold issues in the past should be taking. Uh, or if you've got mold in your home, I would highly recommend utilizing that along with the air filtration system. So hopefully this is a helpful video for you guys. I uh, would love to, to know your questions, comments, concerns in the uh, box below. And if you haven't subscribed to us, please do. So you get all of our regular trainings and we'll see you guys on a future online training. Be blessed everybody. Bye-bye.